if you thought Infiniti was a niche car manufacturer, its latest model is here to prove you wrong, the Infiniti Q30 is a small hatchback designed for the masses, albeit those with disposable income and a keen eye for design. The firm is calling it an active compact, on account of its slightly raised ride height over a conventional hatchback and sleek coupe inspired design detailing and it'll have to see off competition from the Mercedes A-Class, Audi A3 and BMW 1 Series to succeed. Built in Britain it's great news for Nissan's Sunderland plant, as the new Infiniti Q30 is going to be built on a new line there, with a £250 million investment bringing over 300 jobs to the region. But what's underneath this car isn't quite as homegrown, with the Mercedes A-Class platform specifically that used by the firm's GLA crossover donated by Daimler as part of its tie-up with the Renault-Nissan alliance. While the GLA underpinnings may not seem the most obvious choice for an Infiniti, it allows for a range of tried and tested engines, gearboxes and onboard technology perfectly suited for the premium sector. Choice of diesel and petrol There are three petrol models to choose from at the moment with a pair of 1.6-litre models and a 2-litre range topper. The former offer 120 bhp and 154 bhp respectively, with official fuel economy for the lower-powered model pegged at 48.7 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 134 gkm. Choose the 2-litre and power climbs to 208 bhp with a 350 newton meters of torque that's available from 1200 revolutions per minute through to 4000 revolutions per minute. Of more relevance to the UK market are likely to be the pair of diesels, which consist of familiar 1.5 litre and 2.1 litre four-cylinder units. For those looking to save money the 1.5 litre is the best bet boasting 108 bhp and 260 newton meters of torque, despite the 72.4 miles per gallon combined economy and 103 gkm CO2 figure. The 2.1 litre is less efficient, with a 55.4 miles per gallon average but 168 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque. Performance figures for all engines are still to be confirmed but there are 6-speed manuals and 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearboxes available for all. Three trim levels despite being a premium brand, Infiniti is built on a concept of value for money and no matter which Q30 trim you choose equipment levels are generous on say, premium and sport models. Visually the sport stands proud albeit 15mm lower thanks to revised suspension, from its sale premium brethren with a bespoke front bumper and grille design complete with special side sills and 19-inch alloy wheels. Premium models receive 18-inch rims instead. Levels of driver assistance systems are high, with auto park assist with a round view monitor and moving object detection, blind spot warning, forward collision warning and forward emergency brake. Auto High Beam Assist and Adaptive Cruise Control all available. To ensure the Q30 feels as refined as Infiniti buyers would expect, there are four speakers providing active noise cancellation while active sound enhancement for the engine means only desired noises make their way into the cabin. Electrically adjustable sports seats feature on sport models while three designer trims City Black. Cafe Teak and Gallery White feature purple stitching, brown upholstery or white leather with red accents. Those worried about practicality with a five-door hatchback will be pleased to note the Q30 can carry up to 368 litres of luggage with its rear seats in place. The Infiniti Q30 goes on sale later in 2015 but we'll be driving it before then so check back soon for a full review on this exciting new Infiniti model.